I'm Philomena Jones and I'm a teacher. I teach Talented and Gifted and the AVID course at JL Long Middle School in Dallas. I was researching uh, different ways to try to take care of a back problem and I was looking into things that overlapped with some old experience I'd had in the martial arts and Tai Chi. I found body juggling on the web and it took me almost a year to actually get in and take a class. When I did, I found that, number one, I could do it. My back started improving immediately, and it was one of the most fun things I'd ever done. It was like joyful to sit on top of one of those balls and to work with issues of balance and uh, core strength in an environment that was that much fun. Body juggling is a combination of Tai Chi, yoga, and acrobatics. It targets pretty much every major system in the body, from the muscles and tendons to the central nervous system. So lucky for me, Satek was interested in working with kids and I had an opportunity coming into the end of the summer to teach an enrichment course for the Dallas Early Start Academy at the middle school. So we had children who were transitioning from fifth grade to sixth grade, including the Dallas Regional School for the Deaf children, some of whom come to jail long. And it turned out to be a great experience for them. They were able to work with the body juggling for a week and the results were outstanding. When we started the actual course, what surprised me was that early on, we were working with kind of a short lecture. And the focus of the lecture was self-discipline, what children's personal goals were, and how to get yourself from point A to point B. That's, it really surprised me. I thought we were going to go right into the physical work. And instead, what we had was a vision held out for the students where they were able to take a look at basically a formula for success. And the idea was that we want to do something with our lives that's meaningful, purposeful, and fun. We want to do what we want to do. And how to get there always requires work. And the idea that children could build self-discipline for their ultimate goal of having fun in their life, I think that that was, uh, that was unusual. We're not used to hearing that type of, of talk, and it worked for the children. I grew up traveling with the circus, and what I learned in a very early life you take play seriously, right? If you really, if you really play really, really good, people will pay you to watch you do it. People will pay you to teach them how to do it. And then we moved on down to the gymnasium. Again, there was more talk, which I thought was fabulous because the kids were given metaphors for what they were doing. And the work became a metaphor for the lesson. So basically they were told things like to reflect on the issue of self-discipline. And what discipline is to children usually involves punishment. And Satek recognized that and he basically flipped the script on that one and gave them the clear notion that you don't get anywhere without practice, that the notion of self-discipline was all about focusing your own attention on what you want to do and then doing it so that you can build strength and power and get where you want to go. He delivered it in a very crisp, clean way and moved them directly to work with examples of balance and movement, both with and without the balls, and examples of teamwork. So we were able as teachers to observe the whole gamut of the children's individual behavior in a setting that we're not used to seeing, and we got a chance to really watch them glow in this process. The kids loved this. and. I've never seen anything like it on the fitness side. Definitely want to do more of it. This is so good for children in terms of developing focus. There were many activities embedded in the body juggling work that, that dealt with focus. We don't pay attention well anymore because our ability or our capacity for paying attention has been maybe taken from us by all this technology. We have become used to having very fractured communications and we don't spend much time focusing on anything. The children have this problem to such a huge degree and usually we call it ADD, ADHD, and we medicate it. But in reality, their lives are broken up into little tiny pieces and while they're being, we're demanding attention all the time, our test scores are going down because they really can't pay very good attention and they're used to shifting very quickly. But I did see how useful it was and how immediately the benefit kicked in 
when we had the kids working with the body juggling. The link is being demonstrated uh, in research and from an anecdotal perspective, we can see that the children are not functioning at their best. Their diets, their lack of exercise, and the way we fracture their attention really puts them at a disadvantage. So we're hoping that this project will give us more clues as to how to develop curriculum that can be implemented at the national level that will help our children be fitter, be able to pay attention, do better in school, and just be healthier all the way around.